In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. Brothers and sisters, we continue to read the Bible. I know we are together. We are following and we like this time of reading the Bible because it's a helpful time. Hallelujah. Not a wastage of time. Brothers and sisters, this is what we have to know. Let us continue to read. We are now on verse 15, chapter 15 of the book of Genesis. Let us read and we will continue till we finish today. May God bless us, my dear friends. I am Marie Louise Umumalarungu with you. this covenant with Abraham. After this, Abraham had a vision and had, a, had the Lord to he, say to him, Do not be afraid, Abraham. I will shield you from danger and give you a great reward. But Abraham answered, Sovereign Lord, what good will you reward to me, reward to me, since I have no children? My only he is Elizabeth Eliezer of Damascus. You have given me no ch children, and one of my slaves will inherit my property. Then he had the Lord speaking to him again. This slave Eliezer will not inherit your property. Your own son will be your heir. The Lord took him outside and said, Look at the sky and try to count the stars. You will have as many descendants as that. Abraham put his trust in the Lord and because of, he, of this, this, the Lord was pleased with him and accepted him. Then the Lord said to him, I am the Lord who led you out of Ur in Babylonia to give you this land as your own. But Abraham asked, Sovereign Lord, how can I know that it will be mine? He answered, Bring me a cow, a goat, and a ram, each of them three years old, and a dove and a pigeon. Abraham brought the animals to God, cut them in half, and placed the, the, the halves opposite each other in two rows. But he did not ca cut up the birds. Virtuous came down in the bodies, but Abraham drove them off. When the sun was going down, Abraham fell into a deep asleep, and fear and terror 
came over him. The Lord says that to him, Your descendants will be strangers in a foreigner, a foreign land. They will be slaves there and will be treated cruelly for 400 years. But I, I will punish the nation that enslaves them. And when they leave that foreign land, they will take great wealth with them. You yourself will live to a ripe old age, die in peace and be buried. It will be for generations before your descendants, for your descendants can come back here because I will not drive out the Amorite until they become so weak that they must be punished. When the sun had set and it was dark, a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch suddenly appeared and they passed between in the pieces of the animals. Then, and they the Lord made a covenant with Abraham. He said, I promise to give your descendants all this land from the border of Egypt to the river Euphrates, including the land of the Kenites, the Kenizites, the Kadmonites, the Hittites, the Perizzites and the Raphaim, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Gilganishites, and the Jebusites. Hagar and Ishmael. This is chapter 16. Abraham's wife, Sarah, had not born him on an and children, but she had an Egyptian slave woman named Hagar, and so she said to Abraham, The Lord has kept me from having children. Why don't you sleep with my slave? Perhaps she can have a child, a child for me. Abraham agreed with what Sarai said. So she gave Hagar to him to be his concubine. This happened after Abraham had lived in Canaan for 10 years. Abraham had intercourse with Hagar and she became pregnant. When she found out that she was pregnant, she became proud and despised Sarai. Then Sarai said to Abraham, It's your fault that Hagar despises me. I myself gave her to you. And ever since she found out that she was pregnant, 
she has despised despised me maybe may the lord judge which of us is right you or me ibram answered very well she's your slave and under your control do whatever you want with her then sarah treated her girl so cruel so cruel that she ran she ran away the angel of the lord met hagar at a spring in the desert on the road to shul and said hagar slave of sarai where have you come from and where are you going she answered I'm running away from my mistress. He said, "Go back to her and be her slave." Then he said, "I will give you so many descendants that no one will be able to count to them. You are going to have a son, and you will name him Ishmael because The Lord has heard your cry of distress. But your son will live like a wild donkey. He will be against everyone and everyone will be against him. He will live apart from all his relatives. Her girl asked herself, Have I really seen God and lived to tell about it? So she called it the Lord who had spoken to her a god who sees that is why people call the the well between kadesh and the buried the well of the living one who sees me how god bore abram a son and he named him ishmael Abraham was 86 years old at that time. The word of God. Brothers and sisters, we can see how God is a merciful God. And he knows whoever is crying to him. He comes to rescue us when we suffer. He loves us. He will help us. He will hear our cries as he did it to her guy. Brothers and sisters, if we ask something to God, he will do. Especially when we cry to him. Continue believing in his name. He is our Lord, He is our God. He will never, never leave us alone. He will always protect us with His mercy. He will add on our living days. And He will give us happiness during our lifetime. May God bless us, my dear friends. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.